Hello, I am Pastor Sandra Carlson Alexis from First English Lutheran Church, and this is our gratitude jar moment where just taking stock of things that we're grateful for. So what I'm grateful for today is smells. And I, I, I wrote it down on a little card. I wrote, I'm grateful for smells, and I said especially good ones. <laughs> but I guess, you know, you have to be grateful for not so great smells as well. If you smell milk and you know it's not good, then you know to throw it away. So that's good to have, like, not so great smells. But I'm thinking especially of, um, we don't have a Christmas tree. We have a, an artificial Christmas tree. We, we used to have Christmas trees, but, um, the, the, watering it and having the needles fall off and our you know when our kids were little they're they're called needles for a reason they're really really sharp and it just seemed like oh, we'll just get an artificial tree but I, I miss the smell and so this is <laughs> this is something I usually get it's like like a, a glade plug-in kind of thing and you can use this and you um it smells like a Christmas tree and so I'm trying to open it and show you one, but I think you know what they look like. Well, they look like this. <laughs> I already took some of them out. But you put this in here, and you, and it, I just plugged one in because it's getting close to Christmas, and the Christmas tree is is up, the artificial tree. And it's just the smell brings you back. And maybe you think of the smell of um, cookies or the smell of turkey. You might have remembered that from Thanksgiving not too long ago. And... Um, there are just smells. Maybe it's a scent, flower, lavender, roses. You have different scents, and there that's just a powerful part of. I mean, we think of like what well, you can see and taste and touch, and we don't think of smell, but it's really it's a powerful um, reminder. And so when I when I think of Christmas, I have I have to have that scent. It might be a a candle that smells like pine or one of these little scented things, and um, it helps. It helps me. It puts me into a different mood. It's sort of nostalgic, I suppose. So, um, for my scripture, I wrote. I was thinking of. Um, there's there's so many places where it talks about smells or or aromas rising up to God, like a an incense kind of thing. And so I wanted something that was um, not just about God. So I went to Song of Solomon, and there's there's a lot of references to the sense of smell here in. Um, Chapter 1, verse 2. For your love is better than wine. Your anointing oils are fragrant. Your name is perfume poured out. Therefore, the maidens love you. So did you hear all those different ways we heard about scents? Like, um, you could say, when I said better than wine, you could say there, there is an aroma to wine. Um, and then your anointing oils are fragrant. Your name is perfume. And um, just there's, that's part of, um, how is, we, we do sometimes identify people by smells as well. There's a um, an aftershave my grandfather used to wear, and I still smell every once in a while. Somebody's wearing my grandfather's aftershave. Um, it's, it's a very like a musky scent, and um, so with, there's there's something powerful about scent. So that's my gratitude for the day, and we'll offer a prayer. Holy God, we thank you for all of the senses that we have, but especially today the sense of smell and the way that can trigger such feelings of comfort or memories and we thank you for the sense that we associate with Christmas anything that can help us to feel the atmosphere in this very unusual Christmas season as we approach Christmas um, thank you for all of the ways that you use what you have given us to help us learn and grow from from all of the things around us these things we pray in your name amen right, blessings